In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips that will help you to create offers that are gonna convert better. So when you're sending traffic to your website or sending traffic from Google or Facebook or anywhere, you want people to opt into the offer that you're, dri you're driving them to. And so this is gonna be very helpful for creating offers that work better and hopefully reduce the cost per lead that you're getting. So let's get into this video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I make daily marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, I talk about everything from pay-per-click ads to email marketing to conversion rate optimization to SEO to basically anything related to digital marketing. So if you're looking to grow your brand with business or your business or brand with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe here. All right, let's get into this video. So when you have traffic that you're sending to a web page, you should have an end offer in mind. If you don't have an offer in mind, then you're probably wasting a bunch of money. So number one, make sure that you have an offer. But once you have an offer, let's do a few steps that are gonna help you to get the most out of it and convert as much as possible. So the first thing that you need to do is the offer needs to be consistent. So if you say, for example, on your ad, hey, we have a free book, come and get the free book. And then all of a sudden they get there and then it's $19.95 in shipping and handling. It's not really a free book. So make sure that the offer is consistent from the ad to the landing page throughout the whole process. You're not adding things to it or adding a lot of terms and conditions to it, people are gonna see through that and they're gonna say, this is not true, it is a scam and they will not buy from you. So it has to be, number one, very consistent the entire way through. Again, if you're trying to drive traffic to a web page, what's the point of driving people under false premise? So you're basically lying to them. Make sure that you're not lying to them, make sure that you're honest and open about what the offer is, because you're trying to attract those people. You don't need to sell something that you're not selling. The second thing is it needs to be really clear. What are they getting? What is the benefit for them? If you haven't done so already, be sure to watch this video. I talk about three questions that you need to ask yourself before you run any ads. It helps you get really clear about who you're serving, how you're helping them, and the best way to deliver that. So be very clear in what you're giving them. The third thing that you need to do is make sure that it's congruent. It has to be congruent to your brand. It needs to make sense why you're offering this. It has to be relevant to your core offers and really be congruent with your brand. So if you have, for example, a luxury hotel, if you're offering a free timeshare stay, it's not gonna be a congruent brand offer for your business, right? So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that every piece of the offer, every piece of the ad, every element within your website is going to match your branding, match your positioning, and the offer that you have. It's like if you've ever been somewhere and you're like, hey, this isn't adding up, this seems kind of sketchy. That's the same thing if you don't have congruent offers with your website and it doesn't look good. So make sure everything is congruent and well-branded. Number four, does it make sense? It has to make sense in order to deliver value to people. I can't tell you how many times I say, okay, what are the best offers that you want to be driving people to for your business, to small business owners? And they'll say, well, um, I have this package and this package and this package and I, I can do this and I have this and can we pull up the website? I have everything listed out there. That is not very simple and easy to understand. It needs to be very simple. The simp more simple, the better. We need to be able to convey what the value is really, really quickly. We only have a short amount of time typically to do that with cold traffic. So it needs to be very, very concise on what it is that you're offering and how you d deliver value to these people. So for it to make sense, you should make it as simple as possible. And I like to make things as simple as possible in every aspect. So if you're able to convert them natively, right? So we don't have to send them to a landing page. If we can convert them natively, that's even better. And so simplicity inside of every aspect of the digital marketing helps you to increase conversion and attract a lot more customers and clients at a better price. So make sure that it is as simple as possible. And the last tip is to make sure that it's described well. So you need to really deliver value as far as what does the before look like and then what does the after look like? And if you're able to convey what the before and after is and if it's a problem that your target market is actually having, let's say that you were a dentist, right? And you were going to help people that had been afraid of the dentist. So you can talk about all of the fears and the troubles and the worries and talk about what it's like to be there, what they will go through and, and where they will end up, where they'll finally be able to put the stress aside because we're not scary and you know they're like talking about all of these emotional things. That's just an example there. But if you are able to describe the before and the after well, you're gonna have such a better time 
converting these people that are visiting your website or your web pages or your landing pages because they're going to feel and understand what's in it for them. So many times people talk about offers in their business and they just talk about themselves instead of talking about what's important to the client. So make sure that you're framing all of the conversations that you're having around the customer and around the client. They need to understand what's in it for them because that's ultimately all that they care about. Especially the colder the traffic gets, right? So the, the less people know about you, the more important that it is that you're telling them what's in it for them. If you have people that are friends and family that know, like, and trust you already, you don't have to work hard to sell them. They're interested in you. The reality is when you have a business and you're online, people don't really care about you. I'm sorry, they don't care about me either. It's okay. Um, you just have to understand that. They are all about what's in it for them because they don't owe you anything. They need to understand what is in it for them. So make it very, very clear and, and let them know exactly what's in it for them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please comment below. Please also subscribe here if you wanna grow your business with digital marketing. If you're looking to increase sales online, this is a great place for you to hang out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.